Now let us see the installation of Tableau Server step-by-step -step process. So the setup of the Tableau, desktop, Tableau Server looks like this. Once you actually download the Tableau Server file, and this will give you the option to set up the wizard. So click the next, and then you see it will uh, default it goes to C program files, Tableau Server. And then click. So we need to have actually a minimum specifications which are actually required for the Tableau server installation. So ensure that your system has that actually you know the space and the, the processor uh, speed and requirements. This is the latest version that is a 10.2 version we are setting up now. So the take actually checks the minimum requirements in your system. So now you see my system here, it is showing that it, it is not meeting the minimum requirements. So what are those minimum hardware requirements? It is saying that the reason is memory is 4 GB, whereas the required, required minimum is 8 GB. And also there are some of the other resources, there are actually the processor cores are required Two, whereas like you know processor cores are available for the system is two but like we learned we need the minimum recommended is eight okay so this is where actually when we're trying to set up if there are errors it will throw and if you want to understand just you need to click here and this you can download the details and can you see? So this is what the, we require the minimum information, like minimum requirements, recommendations. So now my the system is not supporting the AGB RAM and also the four core processor. So just now we saw the Tableau server. Uh, we tried installing Tableau server, but there are some specific minimum requirements which has to be uh, fulfilled has not happened in the system currently so what we can do is there is one more in you know the other way we can do that is using the tableau online also so you can install the server online and by you know so once actually once once you get this information like production recommendations not met so to try and understand how actually the tableau server looks like you can just go back and you know click the try tableau online so once actually it is Created, you will be prompted to give your some username and the password where you can do that and then once it is done it will give you the option go and check your email for confirmation so the once the mail is received so click the and give the information and then it it shows this way so basically the tableau once you log in the tableau shows in this form of you know the view so this is a tableau server where you have a projects here workbooks views and the data sources and also some of their like you know there are content information where you have users information here so basically this is what actually we've seen, seen this is a content information and then go back and see these are the users so there are various users you know the configuration has been done which will be displayed here so this is the place where actually the users will be created and you can see the list of the users and what kind of the role they have and also how many groups authentication and when the last signed in so these are some of the things which we can manage and then the group information if there is any groups we created and then goes on the schedules so various activities like you know we said we can do the scheduling also in the tableau server you can see various schedules in this so uh, create a schedule and see the frequency provide the frequency and also task type what kind of the task and you know execution type whether it is a parallel or the serial type when is that next run it has to be created 
so these things we can create and this is to view the tasks what are the tasks available currently and the status so analysis is basically to understand you know the uh, what kind of dashboards and you know how many views data sources analysis so we will go in detail what are these actually you know all about and then goes to the settings so this is a site logo you can create a site logo and so on so that's you know this is the way actually we create the we, uh, we actually create the server in the cloud so th this is the latest version of tableau desktop which we are going to see now so this is a tableau desktop icon click on the tableau desktop when you double click it this is the professional edition we've downloaded so now you see you're seeing the various options like the connect is it all for the files which you know the flat files which will be connected and this is for the server you can connect to the tableau server or sql server and you have various other servers where you can connect different options these are all the things which are supported by the tableau and also coming to the files from the flat files to the various files it will be given there and also if you have your own files which you want to import into the tableau uh, desktop professional edition you can add those files also so this gives you the option either twb twbx tbm like the way we extensions we spoke now let's see which is one of the actually the sample superstore data let's let's see on that So this is a sample one which we opened it. Sample superstore data. This is the first sheet where actually the data source connection is there. So the sample superstore is a workbook. Okay, in that actually there are various sheets are available. That is the orders, people, returns, and the new union. This we will discuss. So now you see these are the connections. This is the live connection. There is an extract connection. We can choose as per the requirement whether you wanted a live connection to work on the data or the extract connection. And in this, uh, when when you're seeing, there are various things like you know, there are three different icons you're seeing, right? So what what does it mean? This icon means this is a new worksheet. So this means you're creating a new worksheet with a particular graph in a visualized way. So this is called a worksheet, and you will you will create a lot of worksheets like you know, creating every dashboard, sorry, every uh, graph in the worksheets. Once the worksheets are created at a high level, we want to see a dashboard. Dashboard means what? Bringing of all the useful reports into one common platform to understand what is the entire, you know, the, the scenario is picking all about. So that's the way actually we saw, we see in the dashboards. So this is called the dashboard and it gives the icon like this. And the next is called the story. So once the dashboard and the worksheet are integrated created you can actually create a story out of your data and you can give it in a visual way so that's called the story so now we understand there are three different icons this shows the story like a book and it gives you the four grids option this is called a dashboard and this is a single graph one this is a worksheet so now see the sheets so we have various sheets available right now you click on the orders so in this orders sheet this is a data source which we connected we have various information like order ID, date, ship date, ship more and so on. So this is the entire Excel information available where about the customer transactions, the customer and also the customer order information is what actually is available here. And the next one is the people. There is another data source and the returns data source and how is this actually these two are related to this and put together we can actually create a super store data. So let's see what, what are the information available and how actually best we can use this data. And and now you're seeing so there are uh, in a tab in the tab loop this is uh, a very good feature available wherein the moment you on upload the data so what it does is actually it automatically picks up what is it actually data variable all about suppose in this case there is a information of a alphabetical and a numerical automatically picked as a character variable. And if you see the orders date, so this is a date is in a specific format. So it considers the date as a date format. Now you see there is an icon showing this is a date format. 
like that if you see the ship date and also this is in the character because it is showing the standard class, first class, so on. So this is the character format and, and now you are seeing this is the country information is there. So in the tableau there is already a geo information available where it picks up. If you give the country name or the state and the region name, it converts that into the latitude and the longitudinal information and then converts that into the geography. So now we are seeing these can be used in your dashboards for the geo taggings, geo, creating the geo maps for that. And now you see these are all the geo ordered the dates and the characters and now comes hash symbols gives us the information which is in the numerical format. So this means so this symbol gives the information that we can actually do the measures for these things. So it's in the numerical format. So uh, sales, quantity and the discount wherever actually it is possible in the numer numerical format it is there it automatically picks up the numerical format. And there are some of the formats which are giving you the equal information. So what does it mean? This equal to sign is the thing which is actually created by user. So this means I have created an additional field. So these are all the ones actually it will give you the information with the equal. So this means a, this is not a system generated data. It is generated, it is created by the user. So like you and me, we want to actually understand. I want to create a separate uh, a field in, in, in my database. So instead of going back and doing it in the data source directly in your Excel files or the CSV files or the databases, I can create in the Tableau itself and that actually shows you the information the calculated ones. So this is called a calculation so which we have done the calculations and there is one more option called there is a group option where you can do the grouping. So grouping is basically to it is it is it is very helpful in in understanding the hierarchy levels in that particular group. Suppose there is a product category is there in the product category I we want to understand how many of the sub products are there and from there on what are those product names. So that you to see in one particular in the one particular tree that is called actually we can do the grouping so that it is easy for us to drill down in our various reports. That's that that is the information about you know the the column headers. And now, now you go go to the sheet one. Now you're seeing there are actually various options available here. So the sample superstore data is giving you the dimensions information from the data. There is a measures information, there is a sets and there are also parameters.